So my daughter Sophia and I teamed up with LA-based chef Katie Chen, who's incredible by the way, and she turned one main ingredient into three really easy and affordable meals. We are talking about rotisserie chicken. You can find it in the deli section of most grocery stores for about five to nine dollars. Check out this recipe. All right, so chef Katie and Becca here with my daughter Sophia. What's the first thing we're gonna make, you guys? Hi guys, the first thing we're gonna make today is a sheet pan cheesy chicken pasta bake. So what I love about this recipe is it just bakes for about five to seven minutes. So it's really easy. You can do it in the morning, come home from work, or I mean, leave your office, home office, come into the kitchen, pop it into the oven, yeah. and <laughs> dinner in under 10 minutes, which is awesome. So I start by pouring the panko breadcrumbs into the mixing bowl. And then I uh, take about a quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese and add it to the breadcrumbs. And we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Olive oil it is. Okay. We're going to eye this. Ready? Ready? Two it's tablespoons. So that looks like one tablespoon. That looks like another tablespoon. All right. All right. And then we're next, we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano. And then about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right. And then about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And just mix everything together. I take some kale and okay. put it onto our baking sheet. And Sophia, if you want to add the cherry tomatoes. Okay. We have some penne pasta here, right? Right. So that's the that that moisture back. And then add the uh, sour cream. And then the Dijon mustard. And then we're going to add the remaining Parmesan cheese, about three quarters of a cup. All right. Now go ahead and stir to combine that. All right. This is the fun part. Woohoo! Put it all inside, okay? Yeah. And then we're going to add the panko mixture on top. And then we're just going to take the chicken and shredded cheese combination and add it to the greens and the tomatoes and toss that all to combine. With mommy is like super busy right now, making multiple meals, getting ready to homeschool and things like that. Is this something you can make ahead of time and like freeze it? Absolutely. You could make this in the morning and then just uh, pop it in the oven when you're, it's time to eat. Later. But then also you could make a double or triple batch. And we're just going to stick this in the oven for about five to seven minutes. So it's a 450 degree oven. All right. Let's go. Be right back. Do this. Hey, Becca, I think the pasta is ready. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, guys. Okay, here are the ingredients that we used. In addition to the rotisserie chicken, you need penne pasta, spinach, uh, cherry tomatoes, breadcrumbs, sour cream, Dijon mustard. We also use two types of cheese, mozzarella and Parmesan. Don't worry, we're going to put all this on our website so you can see it and step by step how to make it because I know it was fast that for looked, TV purposes. It sounded delicious. And what happened to all the greens? You pointed it out. Well, now we got to tease you about it. It was at Did the bottom. Oh, I didn't sure. mix it well enough. But I wasn't measuring either. We yeah. had a little fun with it because my grandma used to say, real chefs don't measure. But uh, we had a great time. And um, Chef Katie and her daughter Becca are just are great. By the way, they have their own little show. Okay, cool. they cook together three times a week on their uh, Facebook live show. It's called Cooped Up Cooking with Katie and nice. Bucca. They're adorable. Check out Katie's social media as well, at Chef Katie Chin, and she has a cookbook as well. How did it taste? It tasted amazing. Okay. I, it tasted really good. If you like pasta, cheesy, yes, parmesan yes, stuff, yes, yes, yes. you'd love it. My kids really like that one, too. Gotta try it out. Awesome. It's only in the oven for five to seven minutes. You can't beat that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to make some chicken tacos. Becca, tell me what's on the list of ingredients. Make sure we have everything. Okay, so we have some shredded rotisserie chicken, garlic, chili powder. We have some cumin, paprika, onion powder, salt and pepper, salsa. So we're heating up a pan again to medium-high heat. I'm just using a stick skillet. And then once it gets nice and hot, we're gonna add the minced garlic. After about 30 seconds, we're gonna add all our spices. And then we're just gonna add the shredded chicken. All right, chicken. Chicken, chicken. All good. We're yes. just gonna add about a quarter cup of salsa. I'm just using some store bought salsa today. Okay, so you just put that in here. Yep, and just toss that to combine. By the way, we're also using store bought salsa. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. I don't feel bad now. 
Yeah. I'm just saying, it always no, no, no. Whatever, whatever makes your life easier is what you should do, right? Absolutely. So we just toss all that to combine. That looks okay. really good, you guys. Wow. Okay, so we're just going to take some of our chicken filling and put it in the center of our tortillas. You could use flour or corn tortillas. What are you guys using? Today we're using some corn tortillas. What are you guys corn. using? We're using corn too. Oh, nice. And that's it, and then we put the cheese and the toppings and everything else on it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This took the whole five minutes. That's so fast, you guys, right? That was incredibly fast. After a long day of work, don't you just want to make something like this? Yes. It just takes a couple of minutes. You guys, it took it seriously taste. five minutes. It took me longer to shred the chicken yeah. than to make the entire meal. Tastes good? It tasted amazing. I didn't realize when you dump the sauce on the chicken how moist it makes it yeah. and how much flavor it gives. I've never tried that before. And it's convenient, Mama, right? Yes. Like we're working moms and, you know, people there at home, they have stuff to do. So if you have all of those things, you can find some shortcuts, even better. Totally. Yeah. It is semi-homemade because you just buy it, you dump it, you make it, but you still take time to put it together, yeah, you know? It's, it's still homemade. Yes. Even if it's semi, it's homemade. I agree. You can yeah. put any toppings that you want your kiddos custom make it. We're gonna make some chicken fried rice, also with rotisserie chicken. So we whisked some eggs, I think you guys did as well, and added some salt and pepper. So we're basically yep. gonna scramble some eggs, like you'd, you'd scramble eggs for breakfast. A lot of times in Chinese cooking, you cook things in advance, take them out, and then add them back in at the end. We're gonna add some mushrooms now. Can we add a pinch of salt right now? That's good. <laughs> well, we're going to add our leftover white rice. Now the key to successful fried rice, in my opinion, is you use leftover chilled white rice from the day before. So this is an excellent dish for leftover. So just continue sauteing, clumping up the grains as you go. And then once you've got your grains nice and separated, we're going to add the soy sauce. And then next I'm going to add our diced rotisserie chicken. Okay, grab the chicken. Dump it in there. And then we're adding some thawed frozen peas. Add back in our reserves. Egg, egg. <laughs> Toss that to combine, and then I'm going to transfer this to a serving dish. This looks and smells so yummy. This is like dinner and then lunch for the next day. Well, I know, boy. Really, you know what? A little bit goes a long way. It's good for meal planning. So, Becca, we put a little uh, scallions on top for garnish. Yep. Okay, go for it. Put some of the green onions on top. Well, decoration. Presentation is everything. It's so true. Good job. Yay. That looks amazing. Ready, you guys? One, yep. two, three. One, two, three. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Good, huh? What do you got? It is awesome. So good. All right, here are the ingredients. In addition to the rotisserie chicken, we added mushrooms, peas, bean sprouts. You can be flexible, add whatever you want. But remember, Chef Katie Shin says to use leftover rice when you make this. She says it turns out better when the rice is cold from, like, the day before, and then you stick it in there so it doesn't get all mushy. So that's it, you guys. A rotisserie chicken from 5 to 9 bucks. You can make three dishes. Uh, it's really great. You can watch, by the way, Chef Katie and Becca. They cook together on a Facebook Live show, Coop up cooking with Katie and Buck. It's adorable. You can also check out Katie's social media at Chef Katie Chin.